half of it was like reversed. What's up? You're watching Hive Mind, the most direct show on the internet. My name is Riley, as also joined by my roundabout co host, Dignan. <laughs> Today we're gonna try really hard not to freestyle. This is Guess the Rapper from the Type B. If you haven't seen the other episodes of this, this is how it's gonna work. DJ Grant is going to play us a type beat from YouTube. We are gonna have to guess which rapper's name is attached to that type beat. One point for each one to get right. Me versus Dignan versus you. Jack from Perth. Happy birthday, Jack. All right, before we do it, make sure you like the video. Subscribe if you wanna see more. HiveMindTV.com for our merch. We also have a new drop out with Copes right now. It is two new shirt designs, a new sweatshirt. It's linked in description along with our Patreon and our Cameo. Thanks to everybody who's been so Supporting us, let's get into these type beats. Woo! All right, can I say it? Yeah. Grant, can we hear that first type beat? I mean, heavy hitting big old knockers on that sucker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Little guitar in the background. Thumping 808 with a subdued rock influence. If I met Dwayne Johnson, I'd have a subdued rock influence. Because I would say sup dude to Dwayne Johnson, the rock. You're assuming you'd influence him by saying sup dude? <laughs> <laughs> Seems like you'd have to do a lot more to a man of that stature. He's huh? probably heard a lot from really powerful people. I feel like a sup dude goes a long way. Because I feel like he's probably used to, oh my gosh, I'm such a big fan, blah, blah, blah. Ooh, oh my God, it's the rock. What if I just go, sup dude? You're right. He might be like, What'd you say? <laughs> <laughs> and then I go, I said, sup, dude. He goes, no fanfare, no asking me to sign stuff, no can I take a picture, no yeah. that, just sup, dude. And I go, yeah, you're a person, man. And I rock with you. <laughs> that might be too much. <laughs> I might tip him over the edge, actually. Yeah, I'll keep it, I'll keep it light. He goes, you're I'll coming with me. <laughs> 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 you want to do a buddy comedy? I've got time for one more buddy comedy this year. <laughs> Three, two, one. Put Don Tolliver. Put J.I.D. This is Travis Scott. Uh, That's a Travis Scott type beat? Yeah, I don't know. I like Don's guess there. I feel I could just hear him singing on it, you know? I like Riley's guess is Don. Oh, yeah. It wasn't Don's guess. <laughs> no. <laughs> he would never guess himself. He's not that conceited. You know what I've really warmed up to? Huh. I ain't even warmed up to it. I've liked it from the jump. Down in Atlanta. Oh, yeah. Down in Atlanta. Fire. Yeah, it's great. Travis Scott can easily fit a pop mold. Yeah. You know, he does that very well. I mm -hmm. feel like he has the sneaky, catchy melodies. Doesn't feel like Pharrell's most creative production by any means, but it, it works for what it is. Yeah, it hasn't felt like Pharrell's been doing his most creative production in a year. It's better than Cash In, Cash Out. Yeah. I'll take it over that song. I left an open Coca-Cola in my fridge for a couple months. Call that a pop mold. Okay. Yeah, I'll take it. Sure. Can we hear Travis Scott on that song, Grant? <laughs> That's not what? <laughs> oh. Grant, can we hear the next type beat? Wow. I mean, shoegaze will like sample the vacuum. This is like a belt sander for like, <laughs> for rage. <laughs> it's the most high pitched squeal of all time. Could be a dust buster. A little table saw. <laughs> That's or dentist tools. Yes. Your molar is getting grinded down. Three, two, one. I put Ken Carson. Put Destroy Lonely. This is a Lil Yachty Poland type beat. What? <laughs> really? That doesn't even sound like the Poland beat at all. <laughs> no. I mean, I could see it being a filthy beat, but it'd be... Sure. Which I think filthy did the Poland beat. Yeah. But still. Also, like, I love that there's type beats for Poland. Just one song. <laughs> hey, that has been a thing for a long time. Yeah. There'll be like a Cardi Magnolia type beat. Fair enough. Or yeah. there'll be like a sicko mode type beat that has a beat switch, you know? That would actually be a fun one. Yeah, the if we song, did song type, type beat. beat. Mm. Maybe second channel? We could rock that. Yeah. I'm afraid of a lot of things, but I'm not afraid of that. All right. Name two of them. I don't want to get too far into this. but Like a nest of baby ducks lighting on fire due to environmental change. That scares the shit out of me. Um, <laughs> seems like a pandering. A militia of organized primates raiding the federal bank <laughs> and hiking interest rates. So you're worried about the interest rates. No, because those are going up right now and that doesn't scare me. But if they were going up because there was a militia of organized primates raiding the Fed, yeah. that would be fucking scary. Because it's like, sure, recession, inflation, these are all things we've dealt with before. We yeah. have the mechanisms inside of government to deal with them. Sure, yeah. A militia of organized primates uh. is something man has never seen. A la Planet of the Apes. Yeah, seems a little bit lifted from that movie's concept, but sometimes fiction becomes truth. I guess so. I mean, look at Two and a Half Men. 
what happened there. Not a lot of people talk about it, but that show predicted more about the current geopolitical state than The Simpsons ever could. Is it more like the Ashton Kutcher version of the Charlie Sheen original? Charlie Sheen. Yeah, Charlie, Charlie Sheen, Sheen yeah. original. Yeah, I could see that. Kutchman got in on a little bit of it, but he wasn't heady enough. Sheen was off all those barbiturates, psychedelics, shit like that. It really <laughs> kind of allowed him to explore like an existential character. What was the son's name in that show? Clam Chowder? Clam Chowder, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he was yeah. funny. He was funny. Malibu, California is where that show was set. DJ Grant, give us that next type beat. Hate it. Yeah, we got some Midwest emo guitar in there. Kind of an airy, supposed to be sad. Kind of a rain on the window as you're driving by. You get your head on the window, it's raining, and you're kind of imagining your life as a movie. But you still have a pocket full of cash. Yeah, you're in Amiri jeans. <laughs> but you're crying. <laughs> Tear stains on my Amiri jeans might even be the title of the song. <laughs> <laughs> Could be. I still don't think it's full sad boy though. No. In terms of what I'm gonna guess. I'm not going there either. If I go there, it's trouble. Because I've been there before and I am not allowed back. Really? Yeah, they've got Posters on the walls with my face on it. In the sad boy scene? Do not allow him to enter. I got posters on the wall at Popeyes. You do? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I dressed up as an employee one day and stole a bunch of chicken sandwiches. Kind of a brilliant scheme, yeah. It's awesome. I've been doing that a lot of other places too. I won't name them, but Walmart, Target, <laughs> the casino. I dress up as like a welder and I go in and I just... I torch open the slot machines and take the money out of them. Pretty awesome. Sidebar, I had a dream last night. I was playing roulette. That's how bad my gambling's gotten. I was playing roulette, kind of like Drake does Yeah. in my dream. Like I was playing on, not, it wasn't online, but at the casino it was weird. It was like space. But I was doing the strategy he does by splitting numbers and like kind of putting the chips around that way. And I hit what they called in my dream a decagon. <laughs> <laughs> the dealer said that to me. He said, oh, you hit the Decagon. And I bet like five bucks and it went to 5,500. And then in my dream, I bought my girlfriend a Christmas present. With the Decagon. With the Decagon winnings. Sir, a second plane has just hit the Decagon. <laughs> so weird. Yeah. They were like, that's a Decagon. And I was like, yep, just like Drake. You know what they say, gambling addiction is a bear and you don't want a poker. Hold them. <laughs> Three, two, one. Breakins. Babyface Ray. This is YNW Melly. Oh, okay. I guess I could see that. I could hear it. It was just a little too Midwest emo guitar, and every time I hear that, I think of Breakins. Yeah, it had that lick in there, that Breakins like lick. It was a little bit more of a rap beat, but Breakins has that on the front half of his album. That's know? true. So, all right, Grant, serve us up another one. Half of it was like reversed. You know, I'm glad SNL ended before they could do a Christmas caroning sketch where five white ladies go door to door and complain about stuff. <laughs> I like that. You like that? Yeah, that's funny. But it'd be like Heidi Gardner and Chloe Fineman <laughs> whining about stuff door to door. It'd just be oversold. Wait, SNL ended? Basically. They've got oh. like no one left. That sucks. Actually, no. It doesn't. No, because the lower that elevator goes, the better the chance for us to get on. Once it gets to the bottom floor, yeah. we might be able to get on there and ride it back to the top. I mean, Lorne Michaels has rarely failed. <laughs> and you can get really high on that set, apparently. So. Oh, yeah. People do coke like in between sketches. Sometimes yeah. they do it in it in the background. You can see it. That's what I'm into. I mean, hey, Studio 8H, uh, Studio 8 Ball, some people will say. Yeah. You seem a little low energy. What happened? You don't let me do coke during our sketches. So. <laughs> Three, two, one. Put Lil B. Kid Cudi. This is Lucky. Oh, ah, that makes sense. That does make sense. It's like kind of cloud rap. Yeah, it's a little... <laughs> I know that Lil B has like a million different types of beats, but kind of came up with cloud rap. Yeah. And so I was like, you know, I don't mean he came up with cloud. Like, I didn't mean he invented it. I mean, he, His came, rise. he came up with it. Yeah, he rose. He arose with it. Swag. <laughs> Base God. He invented swag. I Him think. and Soldier Boy. They invented most things. When you think about it, yeah. I'd say it's split. Those are probably the two most accomplished inventors of the 2010s. And, I hate to say it, hmm. me. <laughs> you? Yeah. I've gotten a lot of patents filed in uh, the last year. Yeah? Tons of stuff you would never expect. <laughs> okay, like? You know on those, like, uh, those outlet strips, the thing you push to open up the outlet? I invented that. Wait a those second, soft, wait a second. Those wait, soft wait, just clip, stop, stop, uh, stop, 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 stop. You just said those outlet strips. Yeah. You invented a thing for them and you don't even know what they're called. <laughs> I didn't invent the thing. I invented the little door that you have to open for your pluggy. I never open the door for my plug. <laughs> He is scary. <laughs> yeah. All right. Continue with what, what else did you invent? Those soft closing drawers. You know how you, when you slam them and it goes, 
boom, and then it closes soft. Yeah. I did those. Sleeper vans. You know that craze, how people are converting vans into homes? Yeah. Invented those. You invented those? Doesn't seem like something that you can invent. Like, it's just everybody does Check the patent, buddy. It's down at the library. Patents at the library? That's where you can check the public patents that have been approved over the last year. Oh, okay. And a lot of them have my name next to them. Okay. Wireless microphones. AI art. You did that? It was me and a couple other guys, but it's my name on the patent, yeah. That is cool, man. Got a couple of geeks to help me out off Reddit. Told them I could be the face. I guess you do have a small following. Thank well, you. small physical following. Pretty big on the internet. Pretty big on the internet. I'm looking for more physical followers. Yeah. yeah. Gang stalkers, welcome. All right, Grant, what's the next one? Sounds like my nightmares. I thought your nightmares were hitting a, what is it called, a decagon? How is that a nightmare, bro? <laughs> that was one of the best dreams I've had in a while. It still had your worst gambling addiction. My worst gambling addiction is sports. Roulette is like a, a hobby. <laughs> <laughs> this one's easy, right? I mean, there's two that it could be, and I think. I mean, I'm gonna guess what I think it is, but. Yeah, you stick to that, and I'll guess what I think it is. That's kind of how we should do the games in general, I, I think. I think so, too. Yeah. For a long time, I've been trying to guess what they want me to guess. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like three through with that. I'm just going to kind of, I'm self-serving agent of reality now. A self-serving agent of reality? <laughs> That's what I'm going to be here on thus moving forward. That hey. is awesome. Self I just have to say, yeah. <laughs> self-serving agent of reality? Thank you. When it comes to this realm, yeah. I am going to be an agent that serves self. That is so sick. It's giving self. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> See, that was something they I thought they'd want me to say. Yeah. And that was contradictory to my self-serving <laughs> agent of reality. So henceforth, moving forward, right. I will not be doing that kind of stuff no more. I just can't get over the term. It's yeah. just so cool. You like it? Like if somebody gives me shit from now on, I'm going to go, I'm a self-serving agent of reality. Get fucked, bozo. I don't give a shit what you just said. <laughs> I barely even heard you. Enjoy it because I'm going to get that patented and trademarked too. <laughs> I put it on t-shirts in French. Three, two, one. Death Grips. JPEG Mafia. And it's JPEG Mafia. Yeah, it was between the two. One point for Dignan. <laughs> I don't really care that the competitive edge thing. I mean, just come on, relax. I'm a self-serving agent of reality. <laughs> <laughs> Grant, could you give us that next tight beat, please? That make me lose my mind in the sea lub. <laughs> the sea lub? Sea lub? <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. a club, yeah. What the hell is hand, foot, and mouth disease? You ever heard of that with yeah. babies? Yeah, hand, mouth, foot, and mouth yeah. disease. Yeah. Isn't it? It's just like a bacterial infection, I believe. It's like warts or something. Hand, foot, and mouth disease. If my kid gets that, you're gonna kill yourself if your kid gets sick? No. <laughs> oh. Kill my wife. <laughs> in an elaborate way, then. I'll never be able to catch you. Yeah, I'll maintain my yeah. freedom, yeah. <laughs> Actually, I mean, the biggest trick I could do is convince her to kill herself. <laughs> Ruin the marriage, pretend to abuse the kid, get the kid roped in on it. <laughs> You'll like this, when mommy's gone, there will be no rules. You want no rules, don't you? There's too many rules around here. Aren't you sick of all these rules in this house? This is literally like insidious designs. Yeah, I know. I'm not gonna actually do it either, man. I was just testing the murky dark waters of comedy, pushing boundaries. <laughs> I'm gonna marry a congresswoman and convince her to kill herself. <laughs> one after another until my militia of well-trained primates can raid the White House. And lower interest rates this time. When I train them, they'll lower the rates. <laughs> Convince a congresswoman. <laughs> Marry a congresswoman and convince her to kill herself. It's pretty cool. Easier done than said, some people say. <laughs> Anybody yeah. can do that. But to say it now, that takes gusto. <laughs> Three, two, one. I put Armani White. Nav. This is Bia or Nicki Minaj. Ah, okay. Uh, I can see the Bia thing. Me too, yeah. I was just thinking like a catchy TikTok radio song. I put Nav, I heard the club. I could never <laughs> see Nav on a song like that. Well, you wouldn't see him. <laughs> All right, great. What's the next one? DJ, this is hit, boy. A lot of harsh sounds today. Yeah, a lot of harsh sounds. I'm on a fast today. Why? I'm on a fast. I know, but why are you on a fast? 
Why don't ask me shit like that? Why can't I ask you shit like that? It just seems a little personal. Why is it a little personal? None of your beeswax. Why is it none of my beeswax? You remind me of my little brother I killed in the womb. Why do I remind you of your little brother that you killed in the womb? <laughs> Did you have a mustache? Why did he have a mustache? He developed early. Why? My mother smoked. Why did your mother smoke? The economy. Why was the economy bad? It was pre-Clinton presidency. Why was it bad pre-Clinton presidency? Because of Reaganomics. What are Reaganomics? False conservative theory about trickling down money by cutting taxes for the wealthy. Why do you do that? To benefit the wealthy and get the most powerful people in the country behind him while at the same time subjecting minorities to the war on drugs. Oh, that sounds bad. I would have smoked too. Three, two, one. Put future. Jaleel! This is Lil Wayne. What? Oh, I could see that. He has like a million different types of type beats yeah. out there, but he definitely new era Wayne has gone into this like, sort of like epic, crazy banger space. You know? I did hear some more fast rapping in that, just in my own mind and imagination. So I feel like Jaleel's beats would all be like thin rage synth stuff. Yeah. You know, but that did sound so grand that I was like, eh, if he was yelling on that, it would, I could hear it. I would love to hear him on something like that. Yeah. Not specifically that beat, but right. like something big and grand would mm -hmm. be sick to hear Jaleel on, but for now, he's on that like rage factory beat sort of yeah. thing. Real raw, real raw. Grant, what's the next type beat? genres have gotten really messy. The fact that that's a tight beat now is like confusing to me. Yeah, I have an idea for this, but I'm not sure that it's something that Grant would look for or that our fans would know. You know, I've been watching a bunch of reality shows lately and I'm starting to think that it sets unrealistic standards for romantic relationships. Why? It's just like the challenges portrayed in these shows are nothing like the challenges of real life dating. It's like you meet somebody and two hours later, you're doing a ropes course with them. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't even know how these people find each other attractive active anymore. It's a bunch of 26 year olds doing like bouncy castle mazes and like kayaking <laughs> blindfolded. Well, the contestants on these shows couldn't cut it in real life. So that's why they're there. Yeah, but it's like a girl from Palo Alto and a guy from Lexington, Kentucky, <laughs> constantly surrounded by a camera crew while they play games for babies in Fiji. <laughs> And then she ends up like, I like him, but I don't know if we'd be compatible in the real world. It's like, <laughs> duh. <laughs> I love when anybody on those shows also talk about their interests or like music or something and none of them have heard of anything. Yeah. <laughs> and they all want kids. Oh yeah. Like as a young person nowadays dating, I have met so few people who actually want children. And on that show, everybody's like, I'm thinking seven or eight, seven yeah. or eight children. He's like, me too. <laughs> I'm a boy or a girl first. And they're like, boy. And he's like, girl, but we can figure it out. We'll compromise. We get to choose right? Yeah. <laughs> Still love to be on him. Love is blind wherever you're at. Three, two, one. Fontaine's DC. MGK. This is Alex G. An Alex G type beat? That's not an Alex G type beat. I'm sorry. It's, it's just acoustic just, guitar. Yeah, it's not weird enough at all. I can't believe he has type beats out there though. I can believe that, but I did. they don't, they shouldn't sound like that. I really couldn't get an Irish accent out of my head when I was listening. To yeah, that. I could kind of hear it. There wasn't like a chunky bass line on it though. That's what made me like a little hesitant to guess Fontaine's DC, mm -hmm. but. I will hurt you, I'll desert you. I am Jackie down the line. All right, Grant, hit it. God damn. Yeah, that was kind of fi-fi. Yeah, that soulful trap sound. Soulful trap. 88.1 Hive Mind Radio, bringing you all the soulful trap sounds. I want to do a pirate radio station. If they just wasn't so damn illegal. It's like really illegal. To do a pirate radio station? Yeah. Arg, you're listening to Hive Mind Radio. <laughs> Playing a bunch of illegal songs and not paying the artists. Hopefully during our broadcast you find some hidden treasure today. <laughs> Make a rum joke, go ahead. Pop open a bottle of rum for this one. This is Rock City by Taiga. <laughs> it's illegal to do that though. That's a bummer. I feel yeah. like an accent shouldn't be illegal. On <laughs> oh, it station. is, it's too insensitive. Three, two, one. Rod Wave. Drake. This is Lil Dirk. Oh, oh, that makes a lot of sense. It really know. does. That passed through my mind, but I just thought it was a little too sad and soulful. It had to be Rod Wave. But with what happened to Virgil, I feel like that's the type of, that's where you're going to get a lot of beats like that. Man, I am really, I've got zero. Yeah, I can't remember the last game you've uh, gone scoreless. Type Beats has done this to me the last couple of times, though. Yeah. I've not been able to do it. It's one of my favorite games to play, too. I yeah. love trying to figure it out, but today has just not been my day. I love playing this game, and I love being here with you. You said that. You've been saying that a lot. I don't know. 
know what you're going to cut and what you're going to not, so I'm just going to keep... Grant, give me one I can get right. trippy, bro. I am getting some West Coast energy from this one. <laughs> you want to hear my Steve-O impression I've been working on? Hey, guys. <laughs> <laughs> when Knoxville wanted to shoot me in the head with a 50 caliber rifle, I knew we had to take it up another notch. And after Bam killed his whole family for Jackass 14, I knew we'd have to go wild. So this time, I attached dynamite to my ball sack. <laughs> I mean, that shit blew my little boys to smithereens. I mean, for Jackass 2, I was on crack cocaine. I was listening to Metallica in my trailer nonstop on a 24-hour loop. And so when Spike Jones suggested that I raw-dogged his wife, I just had to. Come on, man. I was filling condoms with poop. It's not bad, right? God damn. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one. I put blast. Denzel Curry. This is Pharrell. Oh, man. Should have been a four count. Was there a four count in there that I missed? Should have just been like, doom, 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 doom. It would have been like that. It did give me Christmas vibes, though. Really? In a weird way. Like Christmas in LA. You know what I Wacky. need? A Chris Stapleton Christmas album. Oh. Uh, that big burly country son of a bitch could really do some timely Christmas jingles. If he doesn't dye his beard white for that album, I will kill a man. <laughs> <laughs> Not him, sec. just a random guy. Yeah. Face feels like wax. Really? Yeah. Oh, thanks. Grant, give us another type beat. doubled down on the Christmas vibes for me. Yeah, a little bit of just a tinge of Christmas. Yeah. You know? Like a Mazzy Star Christmas album or something. <laughs> I do not know where to go with this one. You know, in politics, you know how people often say that you're in an echo chamber? Mm -hmm. Couldn't they also say that you're in a speech bubble? <laughs> I guess. In a certain way. Yeah, speech bubble tea. Speech bubble tea. Because you're like spilling the tea. Ooh. So gossip could be called speech bubble tea. I like that. <laughs> that is pretty good. Hold on one second. I'm getting the boba. Wait, is it bubble tea or boba tea? All my tea is bubble tea because I just blow into the straw. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that is funny when uh, people do that. Yeah. Three, two, one. Put bright eyes. Scissor. This is the 1975. Really? Why right. wouldn't it be like their disco shit? Also, who the fuck is out there making 19? 75 type beats. I feel like there's a lot out there. I'm just surprised that it's like a folk tune. Yeah. One. <laughs> SZA. <laughs> she I mean, she going. could do that. Yeah. I mean, she's got Phoebe Bridgers on her new album, so we'll see if it sounds like that. But Swag. I do not get the 1975 out of that even a little bit. Shout out Maddie Healy. Next one, Grant. Holy shit. Sound like the music they play at my non-denominational church. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Everybody's drinking little Dixie cups of Mountain Dew, eating popcorn. And the church is massive. It costs like $13 million to build. <laughs> All tax write-off. And it's completely white on the inside, oh, yeah. too. The yeah. outside of it looks like it's some sort of government building slash cult. I love churches like that. It's so the funny to me that they head exist. head pastor is one of those long beanies on. And there's six acoustic guitars sitting on a rack up there. He's just picking different ones. Come on, who wants to jam with me today? And you're not just jamming with me. You're jamming with him, too. I'm talking about my boy up there. Geody. I'm talking about the J-Man, though. I'll play guitar, you play tambourine. We got G-Man on drums and J-Man on bass. You want to jam my G? Wait, what the hell? After this? Wait, what the fuck? You want to go back to the church locker room and J-M-I-G after Wait, this? Wait, what? What does J stand for? What does G stand for in that scenario? It's all cool, man. Oh, God. Looks like they're gonna have to make Spotlight 2. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one. But Taylor Swift. Justin Bieber. This is Beyonce. Really? Really. No way. She drops a whole house record and some at, someone out there decides to make this her type beat. Thank you for not calling them an asshole. No problem. <laughs> Held myself back. You know what it really sounded like to me was what? apologize by One Republic. Exactly. I was thinking it was on the tip of my tongue when I heard it. It's too, too late, late to apologize. It's too, too late. late. See, I can't see Beyonce doing any sort of shit like that. No. Nope. 
Yeah, I got zero points and Dignan got one. I am sorry that the gameplay was so weak in this video, but- They, they love it when I win though. We got plenty of games on the way. If you want to see us do type beats again, let us know. All the type beats are linked in the description if you want to check any of them out. And other than that, make sure you like the video, subscribe, all the stuff I said at the beginning, and Diggy, leave these people with some words of advice to live or live their lives by. For those who make peaceful revolution impossible, you make violent revolution inevitable. All right, this has been Hi My TV. We love you, appreciate you, and we'll see you in the next one. Sorry, I just spit towards the camera. <laughs>